So when we um, concluded the first segment before the short break, we were talking a little bit about your teaching. So did you, um, were you teaching classes before you had your baby or yes, on, online? Yes, I, what, I, I was teaching, I just had a few students online, um, you know, just here and there. It was while I'm also doing my master's degree, I wasn't able to take a large load of students. Uh, inshallah, what my long-term goal is, is to apply what I've learned in my master's speech pathology um, mm -hmm. to develop tools for other Quran teachers to use. Um, because what speech language pathology is, it's the study of linguistics plus the hard sciences. So it's language plus biology, anatomy, neuroscience, um, even physics, subhanAllah. Um, and we, we take this knowledge and we apply it to try to help people speak better, communicate better. The, the bulk of what speech pathologists do is we work with people who have speech and language disorders. So, for example, someone who stutters, we would work with somebody who stutters to learn how to better manage um, their stuttering. Or, for example, someone who is deaf right we would work with them help them you know learn how to speak even though they don't hear how to use for example a, a cochlear implant if they have one or if they choose to use sign language we work with them um, on just whatever language skills how they choose to communicate so what i want to do is i want to take this knowledge of learning how to speak, how to pronounce words, right? That's what the study of Tejweed is. It's learning how to move your tongue and your mouth this specific way to make this exact sound or to, you know, produce this specific stretch. How to do that in a way that conforms to the science about what we know about how people produce sounds. So inshallah, that's my long-term goal right now to to develop better tools for Quran teachers to use. That is phenomenal. And listen, with your background and your degree and with your master's on language pathology, uh, you would do a phenomenal job on that. And I think that people oh. would benefit a great deal. So could we go ahead and let our viewers know that anyone that would like to contact you in any of this discussion we are having learning quran uh, tajweed etc uh, they can probably call us at al hikmat office al hikmat office because i mean you're a writer on al hikmat magazine you have been on our show a couple times in the past and i think we would love to be part of your project meaning we can promote your 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 classes we can have people contact us at our Lake Mar office and then we will give them your um, your number your, well, however they can contact you and um, when you're ready to resume back with your classes online you know you can have students who are interested in different things because uh, especially nowadays uh, a lot of people are taking classes online and um, the, the availability is not there to go to masjids and Islamic centers with all the, the restrictions out there and the busy schedule of ladies and everybody. So um, I think you would do a phenomenal job and people will benefit a great deal. And we would love to get the blessings in directing people to come to you. So maybe this show in itself for people worldwide, worldwide, I mean, I, I know here a lot of people take classes online from um, from other people in foreign countries. But you, uh, English, Spanish, uh, sign language, you will do a great deal by helping sisters from other parts of the world who would like to study um, Quran and Tajweed. Plus, uh, teachers in schools who needs some advice and consultation on language, you're the ideal person for them to talk.